just to share some of the insights the way the brand has kind of grown uh, over the last uh, two years even in covid we have almost opened uh, 30 35 stores so that itself kind of uh, kind of gives you a certain comfort in terms of the way how aggressive we are on the growth strategy uh, in terms of our learnings around franchise business and how we developed this ecosystem one of the important eccentricity which we have developed and the way we have developed this network is is a cohesive and a collaborative way of partnering with partners where we have looked at making a model which is which is kind of rewarding and uh, a robust model which helps us to sustain it's not something which we kind of engage with the partners on a short term the our idea is to engage with partners is to grow with them not on a single store network but to kind of multiply the network today we can proudly say there are almost 20 30 person of our partners who are multiple store partners brand loyalty is an important essence of so any brand to kind of look at a long term growth plan for any brand to have a long term vision to be in the market and to grow loyalty is an important cornerstone and uh, today i can say that from a repeat perspective and also the loyalty which we carry with the various brands which we now compete with 45% of our consumers in some of the marquee stores are regular where we know that that 45 to 50% will be any which is coming from those guys who are regular to our store so that itself from a consumer loyalty and the repeat guests which we get the 40 to 45% of our guest profile is of the repeat guests which is a very important corner store especially in the domain which we operate because one thing which we have realized and what we have not which we have which we give a very due importance is that a coffee palette is something which people are not very keen on changing it is something which we which people or the guests stick to they don't want to have a barista today ccd tomorrow and a sabas day after it is a set palette which you kind of kind of get into the from a consumer mindset and that is what he kind of believes and that's where we the kind of footfalls we see from a repeat perspective uh, is something which is fairly committed to us where 40 to 45% of the business i know whatever the scenario that business is is something which is guaranteed to us because that is coming from the regular guest what what is very important to know here is that in the last 10 to 12 years that journey has been very consistent in terms of the consumer loyalty where which where the regular guests have been so regular the last 10 to 12 years that 10 to 12 years we have seen a very robust level of growth happening on that uh, even in the last 4 5 years what has happened now is in with the aggressive plan which we have opened even in some of the new stores which we are opening that journey of regulars is very consistent and why we want to have the crm journey built into the ecosystem now is that what we have what we understand as a brand that connect with the with your tg is very important and that was one of the things which we were missing which is why we kind of engaged zeno and we have now partnered with zeno to now involve them in a in a zone where we try to start capture data uh, consumer data which was something which was missing in our ecosystem where we were not getting the consumer data in today's environment if you were to compete and you want to kind of increase some of the visits of even non regulars you have to have a data which kind of helps you kind of understand what strategies need to be implemented for making you getting those repeats as well as help you understand a certain level of consumer behavior so that your marketing campaigns or whatever campaigns you want to do on the digital side and you want to do consumer engagements they can be more targeted and made suited to the profile of tg which is coming to you and again if you were to do engage with the consumers you are more aware at what at what time will sell what what kind of day parts uh, you need to maximize which are the day parts which we are losing and i think that's where uh, 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 a a a a partner like zeno kind of helps us to kind of do that data analytics on a real time to give that consumer insight so that we can do more meaningful uh, consumer targeted journeys and kind of get that converted into some of the revenues and also not just revenues also it helps us to kind of bring that loyalty element with the guest and also gives consumer that confidence that a brand is kind of engaging with them with the content which is more beneficial or which is more relatable to them So that is where i think uh, we have kind of look so again as pranav said this is a journey which has just started so we have to engage and kind of look at working together but the way we have started and the way we are engaging and with some of the data which we have been sharing and some of the first cut inputs we are getting i think there is a lot of merit to engage and a lot of merit in terms of vc 
that in long run as we stabilize this platform within the barista ecosystem again with almost 260 plus store with almost 40 to 50 percent of our journey with franchisee that data will be a real differentiator for us as a brand to look at engaging with the consumers and also when we kind of talk to the partners in the market it will further help us to strengthen the equity of the brand in the smallest tier to even tier to three cities because if you were to understand barista journey we are almost now in 60 plus cities so that again is something to kind of get data to that level where largely our tg is tech a so that is where we want to kind of engage with the consumers and get all this meaningful insight uh, in partnership with zeno to kind of engage with the consumer with the right level of content that is what the desired understanding is it's not only about revenue of say upsizing but it's also about making content more relatable to the guest and also refining some of our product strategies this is what is the need of the hour Yeah, as you rightly said Ashad uh, we have been engaging with a lot of partners to try to close uh, the CRM solution and finally then we kind of signed the dotted line with Zeno see one of the key differentiators which i figured out was that there was a certain level of consumer sens- uh, sensitivity and also a centricity approach in terms of understanding what the product is we didn't kind of close this understanding in one go because our times the relationship is largely commercial driven the understanding which we had Zeno in which took about a year to close If we had a lot of ideations in terms of back and forth in terms of understanding what is the real uh, differentiator which Zeno will bring to us and Zeno understanding what our expectation is, I think that understanding of what we want as a company from Zeno is what the real differentiator for for us was, and also the kind of engagement at a senior level to kind of engage with the right set of companies to engage at senior level is where i think the differentiator is because a lot of companies which i engage had mid level management engaging with senior level management and at times it's more to do with commercial than to have a long term approach our partnership model is to have a long term approach which brings value for both zeno as as well as us it is not something we are looking at a short term solution as we are growing data is becoming more and more important on a day to day basis so we want to have a partner who understands that data equally well and kind of takes that as a kpi that is their data which they need to churn to kind of give us that growth strategy which we are looking for so that is i think was a differentiator for us to look at choosing zeno over some of the other partners which we had been evaluating have been largely interacting with the uh, first pranav and ayushman to start with and now largely my marketing team is in touch with uh, some of the other team members like i think chetan from your team has been engaging with our team members what i see is now this the last one month has been largely understanding the team network one good part which has happened is that there are dedicated team managers who are engaged with my team so that at least there is a certain level of one focal point rather than having multiple focal points of discussion and it to be it's too early for me to comment that where are we heading in terms of our journey but yes what i see is at least some of the questions which are been asked are logically the relevant questions and uh, as we grow i think uh, we'll find solutions to some of the queries which have been raised and uh, some of the data which have been requested once it is analyzed in a greater detail we'll really have some strategy which we can at least implement for the quarter and look at kind of upsizing what the task in hand is and i think that is something which it's too early to comment that how which zone are we going but at least it's a good start from the relevant question being asked and and the team being deputed to kind of engage with my team to look at closing the open ends and trying to refine and a proactive approach is what we need and that is what we saw, what we see as well so i think that that's a good good head start according to me if i were to say a short term objective a long term objective is any which way to look at uh, getting maximum data inputs and getting maximum consumer data which which with the solution which will any which ways get because consumer insight uh, in the current environment is the most in, most important insight which any brand wants to have so that is one objective which any which ways is a very clear long term objective which we have to hold on to data of our existing consumers but as i said our 40 to 50% business is from regulars and that is a very important data which we want to retain if i were to ask a short term objective a short term objective was would be to uh, educate the guests and to get them on board uh, 
on the platform to engage with them to see maximum traction of guest uh, interaction at consumer end and the, and at the, at the store end to get maximum data input which we can collect and to look at again making strategies which not only have short term benefits to us but also from a consumer orientation help us to kind of pass on those benefits to the guests who are coming because eventually the benefits have to be passed on for to engage with them and to pass on and to kind of build on some of the repeats which you want to work so that is one short term objective which we have to look at but the long term objective again is to kind of have a diversified network where we control and possess data which is something which is again uh, as as well as gold in the long term that's what i would like to say Thank you so much rajat for sharing all your thoughts like i i learned so much more especially about uh, okay. how to think okay. about franchise uh really nice so thank you for taking the time out to end this podcast